Hey, it's Ross Wilberry, and I'm here at the Plaza de Mayo, the birthplace of Argentina, thinking about what is liberation? Over 200 years ago, Argentina declared its liberation from Spain, right here in this same square. So it should be of no surprise that that theme in the Bible is something that has resonated very much with Argentines. Yet today, we tend to find that people split up these ideas of liberation into one or two camps. On the one side, you have what some have called the Church of the Ghosts. This side only focuses on the spirit. On the other side, you have what some have called the Church of the Corpses. This side only focuses on the body, only focuses on political or economic change. But there's this Argentine concept known as solidarity that really, in a very biblical way, combines both. And we can see it in Matthew 4.23, where it reads, Jesus went throughout all the towns and villages of Galilee, teaching and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, healing of every disease and every affliction, so much so that his fame spread and people began to bring the sick and the oppressed to him. Did you catch that? Jesus both proclaimed the message that spoke to the soul and that helped people understand how to be right with God, as well as a message that spoke to the needs of the oppressed. In 1951, from that balcony right there, Evita Peron uh, inspired a nation by advocating for the poor, by advocating for women, fighting for their right to vote, as well as the marginalized in society. She was called the spiritual leader of a nation. People understood the connection between the importance of the body and the importance of the spirit. We have to often ask ourselves that question. Where do I need to lean into in order to fully represent the liberation that Jesus is about? When we ask that question and make those course corrections within ourselves, we preach a gospel that is truly liberating.